the players. Welcome onto the pitch. So let's go. And let's speak United. And good afternoon, and it's the sound of Here Come the Fleet by the Swans Command being played at Stonebridge Road as Ebsley United take the field with Seven Oaks Town who come to the coupling looking for success in the FA, Tro FA Cup in Sun, who refereed the Fleet's game at Tunbridge last season. He gets us underway, and I repeat this uh, whenever it happens, the Fleet are kicking towards the Swans Command in the first half which means they'll be happy to kick towards the plough end in the second which is where their fans like to gather under the red roof Domi now Paxman Paxman a short ball it's a poor one to Chapman ball play forward for Gondo to chase but Solly should see this back and Gondo's gone down just outside the centre circle so the ball is played out by Domi for the physio to come on and it looks as though Gondo has done a hamstring. He's going to be coming off. And that gives a problem within the first three minutes to Hudson. Up wide through Holoranisono. He can't control it. And it's Chapman to run it away through Paxman. Now Polion on the left-hand side. He's got men marking him, but Polion oh, carries it all the way through, but it's touched away for a corner. It runs through to Edsa, who wasn't ready for it. Edsa forward to Domi, Domi wants, he's on the right hand side, he wants it on his left foot he's working hard but uh, he's now giving it to Courthurst Courthurst drops the shoulder to Chapman Chapman far post, oh Pollyon missed his cue uh, out to McQueen John Batty's cut inside, it's back with Edsa Edsa shoots oh it comes off the underside of the crossbar Toby Edsa after 11 minutes, now Domi. Thanks to sign from QPR after coming here on loan last season. Very promising young left back. Now Chapman. McQueen lurking in space on the far side. Carl Miller Neve dropping deep off of him. Now it's McQueen. Flicks it round the wall behind Miller Neve to Courthurst. Courthurst across the box and turned away from underneath the crossbar for a corner. Decent crowd in the stadium this afternoon, and uh, I think there's a fair few come across from West Kent. Short journey from Seven Oaks. Throw in's about to be taken. I think you're going to look for the long one. It's uh, not a bad one. But Solly's there to head it away from Mensa. And now it's dropping for De Silva. We've still got it alive though, it's with Bamba. In oh my goodness, and that was a chance. It wriggled away from uh, Cousins and it was substitute Parker that uh, almost was able to turn it in. And now Chapman, Chapman going through the middle, out wide to Paxman. Chapman brought down, the referee has to leapfrog over him. And now it's with Courthurst on the left hand side, nobody in a red shirt in the middle. He plays it back to Paxman, Paxman inside, but it's turned away for another corner. Okay. He's got to go to the side of the pitch to come back on. Here's Edsa in the area to Paxman. Slides, oh, it's smothered by the goalkeeper, McCarthy. And uh, in spite of Courthurst attempting to turn the ball behind him, McCarthy got enough of his body over it to claim it near post. Here it comes. The flick on. It's uh, not clear convincingly, and it's another corner. And I think it was... Uh, Ben Chapman congested with Fleet fans. Here comes Edsa. Oh, guided on by Ngesson. And it's come out to Paxman. Paxman to Polion. Oh, Polion does well to let the ball run to Paxman. Paxman. And, uh, well, Bamba was miles offside as the ball was played forward, but the referee's assistant was well wide of it. He's in the area, and the shot comes in, and that goes side netting the word from Dennis Kutru quite clearly is quicker he wants his players to move the ball around quicker and pull Sevenoaks out of position quicker 
Paxman down the left hand side to Edsa there's Polion oh, the ball running away from him and, and does it a long ball downfield and Seven Oaks building through Carl De Silva who gets a nudge from Paxman and it's a good free kick and it's Khan Miller Neve ironically from almost the exact position where he scored for the fleet in the FA Cup against Hyde Town as a 16 year old to become the fourth youngest goal scorer in the FA Cup it's to the right hand side at the, swan at the uh, plough end here it comes and there it is Seven Oaks take the lead but it's offside offside Offside, doesn't count. But uh, what a great delivery from Carl Milaneve. Always marked by two men when the ball goes forward. Edsa with a challenge. And that's it for the first half. They go in at half time scoreless. And uh, much to the surprise of uh, many observers, but uh, Seven Oaks put up a very challenging performance, like it may be a Gesson, who took a couple of knocks in the first half. So Craig Tanner picks up in midfield alongside Toby Edsel. Taunton coming here last week as the league's meanest defenders. But uh, today, Seven Oaks defence has held firm. In fact, they've had uh, a couple of chances. One was ruled out for offside when the ball was played into the net. With Tanner available, and Tanner's waving McQueen away. Tanner, 1-2 with Courthurst. Tanner's in the box. Going to turn inside to Chapman. Chapman shoots over the bar. A little bit better in the build-up taken short by Weir Edsa oh and the ball was badly played out by McCarthy to Edsa and Edsa tried to chip it up over the goalkeeper and uh, Domi losing out and this is dangerous for Edfleet Seven Oaks are in the area oh and the ball trying to be threaded through by Mensa. McQueen oh and it's Courthurst Runs away from him to Chapman. Solly. Edsa. Edsa out wide to Paxman. Paxman is in the box. Paxman. Can he get the cross in? He can't. The ball is crossed, but it's played away. Sees the ball go out for a throw into the fleet. Here's Courthurst. Oh, and John Batty over the bar from 12 yards out. John Batty leaning back, but that was the best move of the game for Ebsley. And we've reached the 61st minute of the game and uh, the Ebsleet fans are rising to applaud Cliff Robertson who died at the age of 61 this week. It was a mark of respect for a long-term fleet supporter. Della Card is going to have a whole new problem to deal with. Tanner again. Edsa. Solly. Solly into Polion. Court Hurst. It's Candle! Candle! Greg Candle makes it 1 0 the substitute. He's only been on the pitch for a few minutes. And Greg Candle makes it 1 0 Ebsleep. Greg Candle. Well, there's some relief there for Ebsleep. That's his sixth goal of the season. And arriving on the left-hand side to drill the ball past Tyler McCarthy. Ebsleet 1, Seven Oaks 0. And out comes McCarthy, Pollyon. And the referee given Pollyon offside. Now Tanner in front of the fleet dugout. Ball on the outside of his boot. Oh, and Holder gets back to Rob Polly and good challenge there by the Seven Oaks skipper. Oh, but he's been given away by the keeper, McCarthy, to Cundall. Now Tanner, back to Chapman. 
Chapman forward to Candle. Candle into the path of Tanner in the box. Tanner being forced wide out to McQueen. McQueen chips it up far post. Oh, and turned away. Great piece of defending by Matthew Weir. He just nicked it off the head of Dominic Pollyon. Carl Milaneve drops the shoulder, hoping to get a free kick, but it goes for a fleet throw. Taken by McQueen inside to Courthurst. Courthurst, he's got Edsa behind him. Courthurst is coming back out. Cundle, oh, Cundle, he's gone for a goal kick. As Tanner picks up the ball in midfield. He's got Courthurst outside to his right. Here's Courthurst, he's in the area. Goalkeeper to beat Courthurst. He drags it wide. 82 minutes on the clock. Farnborough beating Biggles Wade by 6 0. Folkestone losing at Merthyr. Needham Market still leading against Maidstone. Bingham, Bingham. Oh, beautiful away from Holder. He can't thread it to Pollyon. Pollyon almost there. Chapman. And uh, Tanner's on his haunches in the middle of the park. He looks exhausted. He's only been on the pitch in the second half as a substitute. Here's Candle, another substitute. He got the goal. That's Domi. Pollyon! Domi's cross. Pollyon in the 90th minute. Dominic Pollyon with his 12th of the season. Dominic Pollyon makes it 2-0 to Ebsleep. Cross from Domi. So it's 90 minutes plus two, officially. Bingham inside to Courthurst. Courthurst turns. He's got Candle running through, but he doesn't see him. Instead, he goes wide to Domi on the left-hand side. Now it's back to Courthurst. They're taking it into the corner. Domi runs. Courthurst cuts back. Courthurst, it's a stinging shot into the hands of Tyler McCarthy. There's the final whistle. It's ended. Ebsleet 2, Seven Oaks Town, nil. reception. Thanks for coming today. See you all again next Saturday for the local derby against Welling United. I think I would have rather than got three. So it means they've got more games, but.